I was looking for a cheap webcam with a light installed, so I got this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just picked this up. It's by TechNet. Sounds like a technology blog name. And this is a little web camera here. It should be high def, 1080p progressive and what's really cool about this it's a pretty simple standard webcam but it has a light built in here and one of the things that i wanted was a webcam that i could take on the road so no frills not very bulky something that i can use with my laptop so that i can record videos on the road but oftentimes in hotels the lighting isn't that great so i wanted a small front facing light will make a big difference here and what I love about this is actually it comes with a very long USB, USB-C cable here. So five plus feet right there. So that should plug into your computer. And then the camera right here, it's kind of sausage shaped, kind of like the USB-C connector itself. And what I like is it's very light. There's a USB-C connector on the back here. So if you have a USB-C to USB-C cable, that might work for, you know, your MacBook and stuff, but this will work with most other computers. So that will plug in right there. You can see it has a little neck here so I can move it around, twist it, do some fine adjustments. It has kind of your standard webcam base here. So clamshells open. We have rubber here, rubber here, rubber underneath there. So you don't have to worry about anything marring. So you can set that up on the top of your laptop, especially if the screen is laid back like this, you can lift it up like that and then do your fine adjustments right up here and no closable shutter or privacy screen right there but on the top here we have this little capacitive touch light button so that is how we will control the light right there so that's pretty cool also a quarter inch screw if you want to mount this on a tripod so next thing we do here at the panda research institute is we plug it into a computer and we try it out all right so i have the technic webcam plugged in and i put it right on top of my monitor here i haven't done anything other than plug it in and fire up some free webcam recording software and you can see here how wide angle it provides so at 1080p this is pretty wide and i'm getting a lot in the shot i wouldn't call it a fisheye lens but you can obviously see a ton of stuff around me now if it were a little lower at eye level you know you just see kind of a wide shot here so you know keep, kind of keep that in mind if you don't want a really wide shot now I'm sorry about the mess in my office. It's like a storm ran through here, but it was called Peter Von Panda. Now, one of the things I want to let you know is that I have my office lights on and they are very, very bright and they're backlighting me. And always what happens with every camera is I tend to look red, like I am a demon. And so we are going to try the light here. But I do also want to mention that I am using the webcam itself, the microphones there that are built in to record the audio for this. So it's probably going to sound a little tinny, not as good as my hypercast microphone here, my cardioid microphone. But what's nice about this webcam is that it's all in one. So if you have this, you should be able to pick up audio, stream video, you know, do your web conferencing, presentations, webinars, all of that stuff. Now, one of the things that I wanna show you here is what it's like when I tap that light. It's actually pretty bright. If I just tap it once here, there we go. Now it's on the lowest mode and you might be able to see it reflecting in my glasses a little bit, but it's not super bright. If I tap it again here, now we're getting up there. Oh, that starts to balance it out. In this case, because I have these really bright lights behind me, that actually looks pretty good. Now, here it is on the brightest mode. And I would say that this looks a lot more natural. And this little tiny light on the webcam is actually kind of balancing out four very bright LED bulbs behind me. And so that's how powerful this is. Now, I'm only about 18, 20 inches away from the webcam itself. But to me, especially if you're in a dark environment, and one of the things that I can do here is maybe just dim the lights behind me, it will make a, even a bigger difference. So if you are working, say, in a hotel room that is really dim behind you, then what you might get is something like this. We go down to this, ooh, like gamer studio effect. Now I'm very front and center, well lit and focused here, and that looks pretty good. Now if I go to a warm white light here, again, this looks pretty natural, pretty bright, but just warm white. And if I go down to what I call movie theater mode, where it's just kind of minimal lights, you know, this looks pretty good. Of course, when you start reducing light, you get a little artifacting, I believe. So I'm going to go back here to full brightness. And as you can see, this is what you can expect. Now, if I were to actually turn this light off, and there we go. Again, I'm back to my red demon-like self. So I love the fact that we have this low, medium, and high light built in here. This is definitely going to be my webcam 
for the road. It's inexpensive, has everything that I need to record some videos, to do some web conferencing, webinar, training, podcast, YouTubing, whatever. So if you want to pick this one up because it's going to make your live streaming a little bit better, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.